Okay. Hello everybody, isn't it fantastic? It's spring, everything's growing, the garden's growing, the trees have got buds on them and new leaves. It's a very exciting time of year. It made me think, what is it that we could grow while we're in our houses? So, um, we, if we were lucky, we've got some seeds like this. But you didn't know you were going to get sent home from school, did you? So maybe you didn't have any seeds ready. So what have we got in our houses? Well, we've got fruit. So we've got uh, lemons. And we've got apples. And look, when you cut an apple, an apple open, you get these lovely five little points. And in each one, there'll be a little pip. We call them pips, don't we? But they're actually seeds. And these will grow into tiny little plants. So we've got one there and another two that I've already pulled out. We're going to try planting those pips. And then here's a lemon. And if you look down here, we've got a pip. I think there's only one in there. We're going to try and plant the lemon pip and the apple pips. So the next thing is, what are you going to plant them in? So I was having, I think, what I've got in my house. I've got some inside cardboard rolls from a toilet roll. I'm going to cut four little four little points in the end of this cardboard roll to make myself a little planter. So I'm going to push the ends in. One, two, three, you have to fiddle around with them a little bit and give them a give them a push to make them stay to make them stay flat at the bottom. And that's one little planter. Uh, but you could also use a yogurt pot. So I've just put some holes in the bottom to let any water out from when we water our plants. They come in different sizes, so you could use a big one if you wanted. And then look at this one. This is a drink container and I've cut a hole in the top like that so that would make a planter. I could sprinkle some seeds in there. So have a look around your house and see what you've got. So for now, shall we try planting in our little toilet roll planter? Look, it's going to be good enough to hold the soil in the bottom there. And because the cardboard's porous, it lets some of the water out so you don't need to make any holes in the bottom. Um, so well, now we need some soil. Now I found some soil in my garden. It's got twigs in it and little bits of roots and things. I'm trying to get rid of those and I'm trying to break up the soil a little bit to make it easier for my, my plants to grow. I'm going to pour it in a little bit at a time. So it's that full. And I'm going to try putting all three little pips in there. Good luck, little pip. Hope you grow, little pip. There you go, little pip. There's three of you in there to look after each other. Let's put some more soil on top. And then I need to put that on a windowsill, somewhere bright and somewhere where I can water it easily, somewhere where it's going to stay warm. And I might write on the front here, apple, fifteenth of April, and then I'll know how soon I'm expecting them to grow. Probably about two weeks, I think, for something to pop out of there. But I do need to make sure that I keep watering it. So I hope you find something in your house that you can plant into. And also have a look, see what you've got in your fruit. Have you got any pips or seeds that you could use? That would be great. Good luck with it. Hope something grows for you.